Okay, Tommy, I think this is a great question that you asked. I'm going to kind of show you what we have. Uh, some of the other people mentioned um, uh, having a, a Google uh, account and using their built-in docs, sheets, etc. But I'm going to sway you away from that. We started on that and now we use uh, Google Forms for most of that stuff. It's just built so much easier and transfers from my phone to, uh, or excuse me, my tablet to my phone, which I'm using now to the desktop so much easier than a sheet or a doc. It's just made uh, to um, um, to to go in between devices so much better. So I'll give you an example of the uh, of the looks. But we still use Google Sheets for some stuff. But we are slowly but surely transferring those over to Forms. So you talked about um, voltage loop reading, service reports, and all that stuff. I'm going to show you one thing in detail um, that'll give you an idea. But uh, all the other stuff I have has customer information on this. So like you can see, we have an automatic gate um safety inspection right here so this has the customer's name customer email address worksite address city zip code and all that stuff and then it goes into these things so you can have um drop down lists you can have um these little radio boxes you can i'm not sure if i have it on here but you can have other different types of things on here as well too short paragraphs long paragraphs and etc and these are google forms so this will be a web-based uh, URL that you can log into using your mobile device. So one of the things that we have um, is still on a sheet is the uh, schedule maintenance checklist. So we've got 120 something point uh, inspection that we do. It's actually more than that. It's almost 200 now. Uh, but we started out by just using this type of sheet. And I think this may be in a Google form already, but uh, what uh, what we did is we created a, uh, the, all the stuff that we need to do. So when we walk up to it, we need to get all this stuff out. We need to get our air compressor. We need to get all that stuff out. Does the customer want documentation, et cetera, et cetera. And then we just created drop down lists that were uh, a check mark if good and an X if not good. And then a... Uh, not visible, like for instance, if you can't see um, the oil um, window on a gear reducer, um, NV would be not visible. And you just go down through, and we have four gates um, per inspection. So we put this in the customer's folder, which they can view online as well too. So we do have some stuff in Google Sheets, but we are slowly but surely converting this over to forms because one of the things you may have noticed is I had to resize, right? I have to scroll and resize and do all this stuff. Well, in the Google Form, it resizes for you. You don't have to worry about all this stuff but much less you don't have to do this type of stuff where it pulls up a whole nother menu. You can have visible, not visible, so on and so forth um, on there just as a little radio button. So like I said, uh, I wanted to show you one that um, uh, not only has examples of that, like in the automatic gate safety inspection, like this is, so it has all those things on there like I showed you before. I'm gonna show you the one that we do for our Truck Tuesday. This is, we inspect our trucks every week. We just do the basic uh, um, visual inspection on fluids and stuff like that. So here's an example of Truck Tuesday. So we actually do this on Thursday, but we stole the idea from the last company that I worked for. They were doing it all handwritten. I just call it Truck Tuesday just because I like to not overthink things. If somebody else has a working system and they call it, you know, butt scratcher Wednesday and we do it on a Saturday and it's not involved butt scratching, then, then we'll just call it butt scratcher Wednesday and that's it. So anyways, this will give you an idea of the type of stuff you could build because we got different things in here. Um, so uh, anybody that's doing this, we want to make sure that we know who it is. So we have them put in their company email address. We have them put in the date and the time. Um, the, this is actually the raw form as though we were going to edit it. So let's take a look at how it actually looks when they pull it up. So they 
uh, pull this form up, they enter in the time, the date, all that stuff. So these are all types of settings that you could put. So you put calendar, you could put email address, you can determine whether it's required or not, name, you put your truck number in there, um, next tire rotation, and then things like this. This is what kind of I was showing you because you were talking about battery voltage. So we put the battery voltage of the truck when it's off, we put the battery voltage at the alternator, and so on. Is the alarm working? Yes. Check the oil. Um, check transmission fluid, brake fluid, so on and so forth. So the reason why I wanted to show you that one is because this one actually has some responses built into it. So what you'll have is the person's email address pull up, the dates and times. Now this is multiple responses on one form. So if you're going to a customer's house, it's really most likely going to be one form, you know, once a year, and you may just copy a new form. However, if you choose to do it all on one form, like um, let's say you do your safety inspection in June at one property, and then you do it in December, and then you come back and do it June, and then you do it December, you could do all of that on one form so you could see past results. So here's an example. Uh, the person who is doing the inspection, what truck truck number it is. So we have the different truck numbers and different uh, uh, people that checked in, um, the mileage of the truck, uh, tire rotation, and so on. So you can actually see what all of these are in the future. So this would be a great example of the battery voltage one. So battery voltage, uh, you can actually see what it is. Now these again are the same responses. Now this also exports to an Excel file. So as an example, we've been doing this. We're not 100% sure exactly how we're going to implement this per truck or across all the trucks. But as of right now, we've been doing all the trucks on one form. So when we do the Excel spreadsheet, we can, or in this case, uh, Google Sheets, we can actually go back and uh, sort that data by truck number, by person that did it, and so on. So um, oil, correct level 90% of the time, radiator fluid 80% of the time, um, transmission fluid was unable to check 100, it looks like it's unable to check, yeah, unable to check because we do it in the morning so we haven't been checking the temperature afterwards so that's something that we'll have to correct and so on. But you can kind of see where I'm going with this that you'll have a colorful system at the end um, for a gate inspection that you can actually show the customer. And one of the things that I like to do I'm gonna see if I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up now. I was I was not gonna do it because it had some personal information on there, but we'll we'll go ahead and pull it up anyway. Okay, so I skipped all the personal information on this particular gate inspection, but you can see that it has the location and then it has some pictures of the gate. We took pictures at the same time. We can go back and take a look at those pictures. So there's the picture of the gate. Uh, this was interesting because I didn't even know that was a property. I was thinking it was a different one. And then those pictures are uploaded. You can actually go to the cloud and see those for your customer. They can see that as well too. Um, you can check the manufacturer. And then here's the cool part. All the stuff that fails is going to be in red. Okay. Fail, fail, fail. All right, so when you're doing your visual inspect or when you're doing your follow up with the customer, you can send them this form, or what you can do is just show it to them right at the time. Just say, Mr. Customer, everything that's red shows that you failed on something. So, all entrapment zones protected. He failed on that. Not applicable distance of pivot point. So, this was for a swinger and he had a slider. Uh, swinger stuff, not applicable. All entrapment zones protected by two safety devices. I remember this gate, it didn't have uh, a uh, an open entrapment. So I'll make this video, uh, I'll wrap it up. I know 10 minutes is kind of long for a dang video, but I wanted to show you what we do because this 10 minutes watching this video is gonna save you hours out in the field if you do this. So this is all Google Forms. And like I showed you before on that other one, it was the uh, it was Google Sheets with the little drop down menu. But when you do this one, it's so much easier because filling the stuff out, you can, I mean, you just bam, bam, bam. You just check stuff. You add a file. You want to take a picture of the back and the front of the gate. You just you click on that and you do it. You want to select what manufacturer it is. Bam, you just click on it and do it and so on. So it's a lot easier, in my opinion, than doing it on a sheet. And this is an ex the most inexpensive way that we've found to do it um, for our uh, setup.